Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today we're going to be talking about selling at Christian stores. So if you have a great product that's perfect for Christian stores, this little training will give you some things to think about and how to get started today. With that said, let's get started on today's training. So let's talk about Christian gifts. The reason I decided to create this training is because people ask me a lot about Christian products. And they want to sell the retail chains. And so they wanted to get my input on how I would sell it. So I like to create these little trainings to support you wherever you are in your process. So Christian gifts are popular in that it's a big part of our country, obviously. And some of you really want to keep your faith in your products and put it out in the world. The challenges you're going to have is that it's not always a mass appeal product and sometimes retailers want to stay away from anything that's going to get pe people irritated because there's so many different religions, right? And also they do keep stuff like the Bible and different things, but maybe they don't necessarily want to emphasize religion. So it's an interesting place. However, there are distributors who focus on the Christian market who are crushing it, meaning they're selling a lot of product. It's a big market. It's just tricky how they get it out in the world. So one way to sell Christian products is to find the distributors that handle Christian goods and see if you can get them to sell it out in the world. The way the distributors work is it varies, but a lot of times they'll buy the product from you, resell it, but you sell it to them at a very deep discount. And then they go out in the world and sell it out to the smaller stores that sell Christian items and all sorts of stuff and mid-tier retailers and stuff. Anyone who's willing. They've done a lot of the homework. Yeah. And sometimes distributors work differently. It varies. Our reality with retail is that they call themselves distributors, but maybe there's something else. But ultimately, they could just take a percentage 20 to 30% of your product, make money off that product and so forth, instead of doing the whole buy, package, distribute experience. So the bottom line is, it just varies with the distributors. But the essence is that there are companies out there who've already figured out this market pretty well, and you could try to see if they would pick up your product. The problem is a lot of distributors don't answer your phone. However, in this category, maybe they're just so hungry for new interesting stuff that it could convert easier than another category is where the distributors are really hard on you until you make a lot of sales. Uh, they generally don't pick up the phone until you've already sold to like stores and done a lot of the work initially, and then they'll continue and scale it up for you. They're more of a scaling scenario. But again, it varies based on category, which is why I teach every product category. And it's because you're all so varietal in your issues. And so I have just have been doing that since the beginning. Okay. Christian gifts. So the trick to Christian gifts is that they're everywhere, but not all the retailers are embracing it. So you got to go and do your market research and find which retailers, the bigger ones, are willing to take on Christian products. If they are beyond some books, then you have to also remember that it might be a regional thing, not a corporate buyer thing. So with chain stores, there's usually a corporate buyer in a lot of these big stores where the corporate buyers are buying stuff for all their stores. Then they have regionals, which are buyers who buy for maybe a couple hundred of their stores. Like Walmart has corporate buyers and they have regional buyers. And so they're responsible for a, a region, Southeast region, Northwest region. Sometimes certain regions are very religious, right? So maybe if you're not getting anywhere with the corporate buyers, you might try to reach out to the regional buyers and see if they'd pick up your product, which could help you, right? Because you know who you are. And in the world of religion, certain areas are more religious than others. Like I live in California, not so religious. Other areas, very religious. And it varies, obviously, at least where I live. So it's not like as huge of a topic if that makes sense. So the bottom line is that maybe if you're not getting where, anywhere on the corporate side, maybe you find the regional buyers and see if they would pick up your product. The other thing is it's just a lot of digging and figuring it out. The problem they're having is also they need mass appeal products for this type of product. So mass appeal means if it's a mass retailer, they want to, anybody 
who comes into their store to buy stuff because it's a mass general store. And although a lot of them niche out, again, generally they're trying to make as much money as possible. If they super niche, no one will buy. It's a problem. So part of it is market research. Part of it is just understanding why you might be having a hard time putting your Christian gift in there. However, some do. And especially during certain times of the year, obviously Christmas and certain stuff, that is a possibility of maybe finding the holiday buyer who might be willing to put your products in stores. There's endless ways to sell a product. I could go on and on, but I hope that gives you a good start. If you want to learn how to approach pitch and sell to retailers on the mass level, on the online level, smaller retailers and so forth, please take a look at what we do. We actually walk you through our step-by-step -step formula on scaling to success with every type of product in every category, including these types of products. We have them a lot, actually. And you can take a look at what we're up to at Retail MBA. Karen Waxman, thank you so much. I appreciate you.